the Elam Consumer Spending Index, more than half the sampled did not mark any income increase, subsequently leading to a decline in individual spending. Between 2022 and 2023, 75% of Kenyans either had their income drop or remain at the same level. 39% uh, of respondents experienced a decrease in income between 2022 and 2023. 24% of respondents actually experienced an increase in income between 2022 and 2023. And 37% of the survey respondents had a ch no change in income between 2022 and 2023. The ILAM Consumer Spending Index has further revealed that in the first quarter of 2023-2024 financial year, individual spending dropped 3%. Basically a reflection of uh, a combination of higher prices in terms of various items, uh, but it was also tempered by the fact that we saw on li with large businesses an increase in terms of spending, mainly because of the fact that they had offers that they were making and discounts that were offered to the wider public. The reduced income has also seen investment take the back burner in Kenya's financial priorities. It's also a, a very low level of savings um, and therefore it is upon us uh, as players in the investment management industry to play our role in ensuring that we um, educate the public about the importance of investments uh, through the kind of products that we offer and also the distribution channels that we provide to enable uh, consumers and, and the wider public access uh, investments. On businesses, medium-sized businesses recorded an 18% fall in sales between July and September, even though the retail business sales sub-index remained flat. We saw that there was higher spending in terms of uh, uh, larger businesses. And by larger businesses, we are talking about, for instance, supermarkets, uh, which are able to provide discounts to their consumers uh, by uh, through their wider channels in terms of distribution. So, um, of course, it's very important that we have um, a wider selection of items and also um, that uh, the cost base uh, for the manufacturers and businesses is low so that they're able to offer this price. Amidst the reduced spending, the lower-income consumer segment marked the largest reduction in spending with 56% of consumers having a negative mindset regarding their spending.